Needle felting cats is hard, but I've come up with a simple method to make these cute faces. This is based on an exotic short hair. So firstly, I'm just using some fluff. These are carded slivers. And a quick tip, if you want to know roughly what size it's going to be, roll it up as tight as, as tight as you want it to be felted and see what size it was. Here it was a bit too big, so I just took some off. And then we're just felting it into a ball with a flat front. Draw a line in the middle, mark the point in the middle and the two sides are going to be the eyes. So I've got different assortments of glass eyes. The glass eyes on a wire I use a lot, but I just ordered these really cute little, I think they're about six to eight millimeter eyes off of eBay. And I thought the green ones would look cute here. The best way I've found to stick these on, it's a little bit messy, is a little dab of glue on paper and just drop them onto the felt. The fibers suck up the glue a bit and they do hold in place really rather well. I was surprised by that. So the, there's only like four different shapes here. The first, this is going to be the nose and muzzle. Now in the exotic short hair, you can see the sort of muzzle and the cheeks are separate, but I'm making this easy with a kind of bag pussy look. So it's almost a moustache shape, a pinch of fleece and then I felt it into the middle to make a V shape and I just felt that right out under the under the eyes as you can see so it's like the jaw and the eyelids at the same time and super tip here I found by accident you can felt a little nose in but using a pink sharpie worked perfectly fine I'm looking for a more kind of squished up face like this one you can see here. So the next thing I'm doing is just a small strip of fluff over it to make the forehead and this curves downwards to the eyes to give that kind of sad look as in this kitten. Um, so while you're felting th that line down, felt out around the eyes in whatever shape that looks cute and appealing to you. They have such expressive eyes. So you can almost open the eyes fully up or just leave them sagging down a bit. Is that not adorable? Um, super simple. And again, you could felt a little bit underneath what you've left as the jowls here, or I just colored a tiny bit in, in Sharpie. This will only peek out slightly, but it will separate the top lips from the bottom lips. I'm just making a U shape to fit into that, that bottom lower jaw. With the, fi with the loose fibers, I'm just felting it up and around the head and smoothing it out. The only line you want to see is where the jaw is. In some of the kitten pictures we saw they're quite appealing if their mouths are open slightly so sometimes I do that as well but you can just see a peak of the pink that I added here and I thought I'd lost a little bit of a definition of that lower of that upper jaw well the muzzle there so I'm just adding two little moustaches of fluff into that as well always think in the center the nose is the most in the lowest part of the face and everything else is sort of squished and curving out from it um, but really simple as anything little little shape um, sometimes I kind of squish them in even more to make the, the face more squished in and puffy. Um, but the trick I found is just to felt and felt and felt until it's quite firm and it just looks way better. And then two little triangles for ears. These cats tend to have quite small ears. I usually go a bit too big with ears and they're set quite wide apart in the head. Well, the eyes are quite wide. And bear in mind, when, when we drew the line for the eyes, the eyes are in the middle to even low down in the head. Some of the kittens have quite a lot of forehead. So just play around and see what, what looks cutest for you. But it really is a surprisingly easy easy little shape for a cat. I thought the exotic short hairs were going to be way harder and then I tried this and it's just so simple. I think the most tricky bit is felting the ears on so it's two little triangles. I just hold them in the position I want carefully and felt them in and then if there's any kind of seams, if there's anything showing up, just add a little bit of fluff over to smooth out the edges and you are pretty much done. Although you can color it in any way you want or another really cute thing you can do is add long hair. Instead of being an exotic short hair, it kind of becomes one of the more modern Persian varieties.
um, but there, there we have him, super easy, really quick um, and identifiable as a cat compared to some of the more tricky normal looking cats. So you can use my cat body tutorial to stick him onto a body or here's what happens if you add some of the fluff. You can make a long hair by thinking of the, the nose as the center point and radiating the long fibers out from that center point and then two pinches of long fibers for that mustache um, going from the center of the nose out and then I add a little felted nose on top and it's actually quite adorable. <laughs>